My son Harry is coming here today. It's the first time I'll be seeing him in six years. Six years? Yeah. After my wife died, uh, my parents took the two oldest and Genevieve's parents, they took Harry the baby to live with them in San Diego. Well, why haven't you seen Harry in so long? You know, everybody figured it was for the best. Horseshit. The child belongs with his father, even if his father is behind bars. Hello, son. Yeah. Where are the kids? I, I I need to talk to you. Guess I'll take a nap. Wake me up for shuffleboard. Genevieve's parents have been staying with us for the past week. It, <laughs> well, it was awkward at first, but uh, Jonah and Margaret have been working very hard to be uh, well to be a family again, uh, to ease Harry back into your life. And well, they're waiting in the parking lot. Harry won't get out of the car. Son, son, he's six years old. He's terrified. His crying is upsetting Holly. It's okay, don't force him. We'll try again tomorrow. No. No, you know, you know, we, uh, let's just hold off, okay? My parole hearing's on Thursday. If I get paroled, I can see him at home. Are you sure? Yes, I can wait. Just a couple more days. Right. This time, I know the parole board is going to let you out. I know it. In the bottom of my heart, I know that you will be free. So, uh, tell me, how does he look, my son? Oh, well, <laughs> like his father. <sighs> he has his mother's eyes. So, uh, you're going to see Chris to talk about the appeal, right? Yes. Will you give him my love? 